This weekend we're going to Supernova and we're going dressed as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Supernova is tomorrow morning and I've, I've barely done anything. Okay, let's try your costume on. <laughs> To our channel Amelia Gard and this is Aizen if you haven't seen him already this is my son anyway today we are doing a bit of a vlog just kind of come along with me and behind the scenes of our adventure with Bridie if you don't know I have a channel with my sister it's called Amelia and Bridie and this weekend we're going to Supernova so we're very excited I've actually never been and my husband's a geek and I've never been and he's been once I think so we're going as a family and we're going dressed as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs but there's only gonna be one dwarf and that's him and then Evie's gonna be Snow White and my husband's gonna be the prince and I'm gonna be Snow White so pretty excited. I already have like a dress made for Snow White for me. I just have to alter it. Evie's got a Snow White dress she got for her birthday. I've got to make a costume for this little guy and for my husband as well. And I've got like three days to do this in. But I was hoping to get most of it done today and tomorrow. So let's hope we can get it all finished. Anyway, so I'm just gonna bring you along for the ride and see what I can do and what we come up with. And don't forget to go subscribe and like this video. And also go subscribe to my sister's channel, Bridie Meredith, and come and see our channel together, Amelia and Bridie. Anyway, let's go. So I've gathered a few bits and pieces from my stash of fabric. I've got some cord that I'm gonna sew with some, oh darling, you're crying, and some other fabric colors, but I've gotta get some more colors. So let's go find them. Evie's wanting to wear her costume already. So we're going to the shops together and Evie and I are gonna to go to Spotlight, our local craft shop, and get some fabric for Daddy's costume. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Is that exciting? Yeah, we're gonna get some fabric for Daddy's cape. Oh my gosh, it is hot. I'm melting. Okay, aircon on. Let's go, Baba. Hey, Evie, what have you got in your basket? And glue. Glue. What are you gonna use the glue for? For glue and sticking. Glue and sticking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's go find the fabric for Daddy's cape. Okay, Evie, did Mummy just show you your matching dress to Mummy's? Yeah, do you like it? Oh, you're twirling around. So I just picked up this dress from my sister-in-law. I made this for her. Uh, when uh, it was her 30th and it was like so much fun to make anyway so I'm going to wear that at Supernova and Evie got given the same dress the one she's got on now uh, for her birthday last year and look at her she's twirling around oh you think you're a ballerina excuse my house guys yeah, I'm gonna finish Aizen's costume today and I'm going to finish Matt's as well. So Matt's going as the prince from Snow White and Aizen's gonna be dopey. Why am I still not in focus? There we go. So yeah, I think that's gonna be kind of fun. Um, so I'll get to that later today. And hopefully finish it today too. That'd be nice. <sighs> so what a few couple of days it has been. Like, I was meant to finish this costume, or these costumes, by today, the latest. Hopefully yesterday, but that didn't happen. So, I did a little bit of craft. My grandmother hosts like a craft day every week. So, I go to that, and my mom and my aunties, and sometimes my cousins, go to that um, on a Wednesday. And we do like all sorts of craft, whatever we want to do, whatever we're working on, and we bring it to 
the day and we just spend time together and it's really fun it's really nice to bond and and get some nice craft stuff done or art or whatever we want to do and so I took these costumes to do there and cut it out that was on the first day and it is now a Friday night supernova is tomorrow morning and I've I've barely done anything like I've, like I showed you, I cut out Eisen's tunic and his hat. And that's about it. I went to Spotlight and got the cape fabric. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, oh, so I also picked up my sis our sister-in-law's dress that I made for her. The snow white dress. And I was, fingers crossed, hoping that it fit me. And I had a feeling that it wouldn't because, I mean, I just had a baby. So, things aren't exactly back to normal yet <laughs> so I was like oh this is not gonna be good and I was right it does not fit me and it is the night before and I do not want to have to alter a whole dress so I'm thinking of putting a temporary cape on the back like Snow White has like a red cape sometimes so I think I might do that and just kind of cover up the fact that it can't zip it up that's my option I think it's a good one too. So, tonight, kids are asleep, my husband's gaming, so everyone's clear and out of the way, and I'm going to sew and sew and sew. I've got Aizen's hat. How cute, he's gonna look so cute. Um, so it just fits his head, so I've just gotta hem it at the bottom. So there's that, I have to, if you can see, that's Aizen's tunic, that's his, the neckline of his tunic and so in the middle to get it over his head easier instead of making a bigger hole I'm putting a slit down the middle so to do this you just put a scrap piece of fabric now Eisen's crying hold up okay I'm back all right so yeah as I was saying so I have this tunic and I've just gotten a piece of material just a scrap and I've just sewn like a straight line down and kind of gone across and gone up again so I've got that a space between those stitches so I'm going to cut down the center and then cut all this excess off and fold it in and hand stitch it so I'll show you how to do that it's so easy and then that makes kind of like a little slit like a tunic and it's easy to get over your head so yeah so I'll sew that up, put some cute little patches on his sleeves, and sew some buttons down the front, and then that's him done. And I've got to make a cape for myself, and I've got to make my husband's blue tunic and his cape, and then I think I'm done. So I've just cut and trimmed the edges of this little flap, so I'm going to cut down the middle now and make the little slit. He's gonna look so cute! Okay, so now I've just got to hand sew that, or I could machine sew it even. Maybe I'll machine sew it. Yeah, let's just machine sew it. I might machine sew the edges. I'm going to leave them raw, so then they look a bit rough. So I could use this for like a medieval thing or something else later on down the track. Um, and I've got to sew the sides together, match up the sleeves. And then we've almost done this. Yay. I'm just trying to find some gold buttons that will go with this buckle for him oh my gosh he's gonna look adorable i love these i think they're really accentuated and they go with the gold really well um and there's two of them so i might just have to go with that i thought it might be a bit too big for a little baby but he i mean he's meant to be like a cartoon character so it's a bit quirky and it the gold is pretty much what dopey's character outfit has so Maybe we'll do that. Oh, he's gonna look so cute. So, done that. I'm gonna hand sew these little patches on. So, 
I have pretty much finished his little tunic. How cute. I can't wait to see it on him. It's going to look so cute. Um, it's. I haven't done the hemming of the sleeves um, because I need to try it on him and he's sleeping at the moment. So I'll just try it on him in the morning and I might just roll them like roll them a couple of times just to see like just to give it an extra effect it might look kind of cute or i'll just cut it and quickly hem it it won't take very long um yeah but otherwise it is done i just did a blanket stitch on around the patches on his arm so it looks really effective and put some brass gold buttons and then I've just got this ribbon because he is a baby. He can't wear like a belt belt. So I've just got this black ribbon with like this little buckle. And that's going to be like his little belt around his tunic. So I'll measure that on him in the morning as well. And then on to Matt's costume. Hopefully that won't take long. I'm just having a Milo break. Does anyone know what Milo is? Like I'm pretty sure it's an Australian drink. But it's pretty much like powdered chocolate stuff and you add it with milk some people like blend it up and make it like kind of like a milkshake my husband loves doing that but i like putting the powder in and just pouring the milk in because then it kind of feels more chocolatey and i'm just eating the chocolate <laughs> so, but yeah comment below if you have milo or something like milo are you jealous mm-hmm Pretty good, not gonna lie. I always get nervous when I do this. Ready? Um, I finished the tunic and it's looking pretty cute. I don't know if you can see the detail, but I put that trim on it, which looks really nice with this fabric. And we're gonna attach this sort of belt trim because that's what they have in the cartoon. And then I've got his cape here, which I hemmed as well. So I'll have to place that on him as well. But anyway, I think I'm done for tonight. It's too late and I need to get some sleep because we've got a big day tomorrow and the kids wake up at six. So that's fun. So I'm going to curl my hair in the morning and make it look all cute and princessy. And then we'll get ready. So see you in the morning. Good night. What are you doing, Missy? You're sewing, you're pretending to sew, are you? In your PJs and your Vegemite all over your face. <laughs> I, need, I need to do a reel. Reel? Yeah. Well, I want to do the reel. I want to do a reel. I know. Well, Mommy has to help you, okay? I want to do this. Can Mommy help you and then we can do it real? Okay. ready into our costumes for supernova today yeah, yeah. And we're, gonna, High five. we're gonna try on Eisen's costume and hopefully it fits him and daddy's yeah and then mommy's got to fix her hair up and makeup and look like a princess today okay now you ready I'm gonna press the button ready <laughs> With the help of mommy. Good job. I'm ready. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh. Yeah. Are you excited for today? Are you excited? Are we going to try on your costume? Yeah. And we're going to hope that it fits. 
Yeah, you excited? I can see. Oh, look at those legs going! Wow! Look at you! I love you. Okay, let's try your costume on. Look! Look how cute you look! Hi, Jelly! Look at his little shoes that don't fit him. They're actually falling off. But how cute do you look? Oh, you. We should have made you a sleepy outfit. Hey! Sleepy dwarf instead you're dopey, but that's okay. You look so cute. Yeah. Hi, Dally. Do you want to go to bed? Oh, hello, my baby. You look so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I can't deal. It's my time to get ready. And I got my old faithfuls with me so these are like curlers from the 80s that my mum has I always use them for like costume events or things that I want my hair to look like really oh see you Evie um, when I want my hair to look really like old-fashioned or whimsical or something because they make really tight curls so I've never done it with short hair my hair is actually not that clean so maybe that would be a good thing because it'll hold the curls more um, but yeah, I'm interested to see because I haven't done it for so long. So let's try and put these curls on and see what happens. Okay, so I parted my hair just like that. I'm going to put the curlers in, but I have to wait for the curlers to heat up. I forgot about that. This dot has to go like a red color, but the lid, it actually has like a lid to keep the heat in, but it's gone. It broke a long time ago. It is quite hot actually. We'll see how they go. I might wait a little longer and we'll get my hair done. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for them to curl or heat up, I uh, might do my makeup. I don't know if I'll do like a normal makeup or make it more dramatic. We'll see. Well, here's my lovely do. Doesn't it look fabulous? I think I'm gonna look fabulous in my curls anyway um i've just i haven't done the back just the lower back just because i wasn't sure if i would have enough colors and i was right because it's not enough my hair is pretty thick so i just kind of like that and i'll just curl that with a wand or a straightener and then i'll that'll be covered anyway so yeah but i've just done all this and i'll just let it set so i just need to let it cool down and i'll do my makeup while i'm waiting and get the kids ready and hopefully we'll get out here on time real life of getting dressed and putting makeup on with a toddler. Gotcha. Hang on, let me shut it. This is real life. My bathroom was clean. It was spotless. Now we have leaves and safe our bobby pins, a broom, more bobby pins, weird random stuff. Honestly. And this is how it turned out, guys. I'm really happy. I just tucked it under and pinned it, and it turned out really well. I'm so excited. So, we're in the car on our way, and this is my <laughs> current state. I can't get my skirt to go down because it's got a hoop underneath it it's a bit of a squishy situation <laughs> don't oh we look amazing we did it we did <laughs> we're like 
an hour and a half late, but we did it. <laughs> buckle up, everyone buckle. Let's hit the road. We're going to Supernova on the Gold Coast. And we have Prince Charming in the front seat. We have Snow White. Snow White in the back and Little Dwarf in the other seat. Except he's half dressed. It's a very cloudy day today. Yeah, thank goodness it's indoors and it's not super hot because wearing all this would be a nightmare. But I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out, hey. Yeah. Everyone looks fabulous, even though it was a bit, a bit of a stressful morning. But we did it and we're on our way. Hey, say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. So cute, little boots. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Woo! Man with the pram. <laughs> That's my brother, Granny. Wave. How are you? <laughs> She wanted a photo. Amelia <laughs> is taking a photo of Evie. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think she's nervous. She's nervous to ask the lady. 